Hi and welcome to another video. Uh, today I'm taking a look at a condenser tumble dryer and if you've got one that says the water tank is full when you know it isn't, uh, there's a, a, an easy fix. Um, I'm looking at uh, a Hoover, uh, it's a VHC 680C, there it is, and uh, I put it on about 20 minutes ago, um, the tank was completely empty uh, yet the water light on the top told me that it was full. Um, had this issue before uh, and it's quite a simple fix so I'm now going to show you how. What you need to do is uh, just tilt the machine back, uh, unplug it obviously and uh, underneath once you've removed the water bucket you'll see this uh, little attachment on the back here. Uh, undo those three screws, it's one there, one there and one there uh, and take it off. Uh, this is it, it's some kind of filter that stops fluff going where it shouldn't do but occasionally it, it gets a uh, gunked up and this is what affects the sensor. Once you've taken this off all you need to do is uh, just wash it through, wash this way um, and just you, when you wash it you'll see that lots of fluff comes out. Uh, it's some of the fluff that should have been captured in the uh, in the filter uh, and this just affects the the, the sensor on the uh, on the water tank and uh, clean it out, wash it out, put it back on, job done, tumble dryer fixed. Quite an easy fix. Um, but it saves getting rid of a, a tumble dryer that's uh, giving you an error message. I hope that helps. Enjoy. If you're still having issues with your tumble dryer uh, telling you that its water container is full uh, after you've done the previous clean out, uh, then it may be the attachment on the back of the bucket itself. Uh, as you can see here, this is the piece that goes into the thing we removed. Uh, and all you need to do is uh, on this one, is just remove it and you'll see yet again it's full of junk and um, so you just clean this out pop it back on and that should resolve your problem um, failing that then you really do have a serious problem but nine times out of ten it's just fluff and gunk that's stuck in where it shouldn't be and it's confusing the sensors um, so just wash this through with warm water uh, and you'd be surprised the amount of uh, muck that comes out of it put it back together and off you go. The trick is uh, once you're cleaning this out, uh, make sure you push the valve or the little uh, thing on the inside to push this out. You can see that come out there. Uh, just wash that through as well. Just wash that through, make sure there's no fluff in there. Uh, and also the same with the, the connector that goes on the back of the uh, tank. Uh, just uh, push that through. It's quite tricky because this one's quite small. Just uh, push that out there, you see. Um, fluff can collect anywhere and it can cause all sorts of problems. And when you're trying to work out where the issue is, uh, just make sure you have a thorough clean. So that there you go. Well, if the, all the previous tips haven't worked for you and your tumble dryer is still showing that it's got a full tank of water when you know it hasn't, uh, then there's one other option you need to look at, and that's the location of your tumble dryer. Um, a lot of electrical equipment won't run properly uh, if it's under 5 degrees. Uh, mine's been outside in the shed, and uh, we've had some very cold conditions. Uh, there's a little bit of snow on the floor right now. Uh, so I thought, let's bring it in. Uh, left it inside for a little while uh, and uh, as you can hear behind me uh, it's it's running perfectly um, I, I did nothing else other than just bring it in and warm it up and um, so there's another option for you uh, I hope some of these tips will help you out whether you get it working via cleaning uh, or whether it, it needs to be moved somewhere else uh, but this is uh, a Hoover uh, condenser VHC 680C uh, tumble dryer. Uh, these tips will work on other models too uh, and I hope that saves you from having to buy a new tumble dryer. Enjoy.